inner city young people, born with all sorts of challenges, all sorts of obstacles, and coming into a school situation where I don't believe I can be great. Think about it, folks. Here's a word we kick around with children a lot. The word is dream. We say, young man, young woman, young lady, dream big. Dare to imagine greatness for yourself. That's common language. I say that all the time. Dream big, young man. Don't limit your, your, your dream to, to something so small. I said, wait a minute, teacher. Wait a minute, Prince, pump the brakes for a second. You telling that young man to dream big? Do you know that young man's experiential background? Do you know that young lady's story? Do you realize that that young man, that young lady, their world is this big? That just that far, they can't see? Because this is what's relevant to me? This is my reality? and I don't realize there's a world out there that I have access to. So my dream is confined to that which I can see. I was that kid. Just being on this stage, I've given approximately well over 2,000 presentations over the last 31 years. And do you know it's still, ex it's still a big deal for me to be on this, this platform in front of you? Because I've never forgotten the beginning of my journey. And to be on this stage with that sign, Sage Talks, would not have been a realistic goal of mine when I was coming up because my world wasn't big enough to conceptualize that I could be in Salt Lake City, Utah, speaking to an online audience and the folks who are here, that my dream was this big. So I said, now as principal, I got, I got a school full of young people who are trapped in their own environment and, and cannot conceptualize what it is, what that world is out there that I really have access to but I don't realize I have that access. Well, that's where I wanted to focus my attention. I knew that if that kid realized that he, has, he or she has access to that world, the academics would take care of themselves. I knew that instinct. 